Hey, Coach, thanks for joining the show. And I know you guys have a tough matchup this week going up against Vanderbilt. They're always good, it seems like. And I don't know what it's been, but it's a new coach, maybe, new culture. What do you have to say about this team? Well, this is a really, really good Vanderbilt team. Pretty much underrated every single year, it seems like. And they already are 2-1. and one. They have two wins. One versus Marquette, who we thought was going to be the best team in the Big Ten in their division this season. Uh, they gave them their first loss. But this team is definitely good. They, You know they can always run the ball. They have a good dual threat quarterback this year. And I think that loss back in season four is still on their mind. They definitely want to hand it to us. Coach, is there a little bit of bad blood between you and Vandy? And we all know about the 8-0 record that you guys ruined in season four. And even last year, I mean, they have a good ground attack. And their fan base has really been on your team this week. And there's been a lot of talk about being in front of a sold-out crowd. What do you guys have to say, and what do you have your chance? What are your chances going into this game? You know, I think there is a little bad blood. This is a little rivalry, and it's kind of funny. They went from the American to the Big Ten, just like us, after being demoted from the SEC. So they definitely feel slighted, and they have a good coach over there. He came over from UTEP, and he's a good coach. He has a good offensive scheme, and I think that if we are on our P's and Q's this game. We run the ball well with balance, along with throwing the ball well with Dierberto. Dierberto isn't really having the big start that we thought he would have, but he's still on some All-American lists, and I'm excited for this offense and definitely this defense as well. I think we're pl pl playing pretty good football so far to start this season. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the White Tails Dynasty as we take on Vanderbilt, and they are 2-1 on the season. Already three conference games for them, and you can just see they are a really good football team. No bad rankings. I mean, look at that. They're top 25 in offense, top, I'd say, what, 35 in defense, top 25 pass offense. I mean, they're pretty good. And looking at their team, Kyle Jones is a dual threat quarterback. So anytime you play up against a dual threat quarterback, it's going to be a tough matchup. He's even got six touchdowns and zero interceptions. Andre Phillips does return for his senior season. He is a really good running back. Their defense doesn't have a lot of elite guys, but they're well-rounded and they have depth at every single position. This is a team that's always going to be good. So we are looking forward to this matchup on the road as we take on Vanderbilt. And here's the opening kickoff as they do start out with the ball. Mark Robinson takes it for a 25-yard gain. So here we go. We are ranked number 17 coming into this game. Here's a delayed handoff to start out. And here is a nice stop that time by David Wyatt. Now, keep an eye out for David Wyatt. He is kind of a pass rusher, but he can also be disruptive in the run game. So here's a handoff to the right side. This time, Phillips gets to a hole and he gets 12 yards. And he gets another first down here for this Vanderbilt offense. We all know the game they had last year. They ran for over 200 yards. Here's a handoff to the right side. Phillips does break a tackle and gets tackled from behind by Coco Bamaye for the first down. So first and 10, another handoff. No, it's a read option. Jones keeps it this time, breaks a tackle, and does get tackled for a nine-yard gain by Adam Williams, the true freshman. So second and one this time. They line up in the pistol formation. Hand off. Another hole. Phillips hits it hard and does get to the second level. Gain of 14 yards for him and a first down. So now at about the 27-yard line, another draw play. Phillips up the middle. Does get stopped. And he will try to get up and get some more yards as he does get about one more yard after that one. Gain of five yards. So he's already at 41 yards rushing so far. Here's Jones from the shotgun trying to scramble out, but gets stopped by Anderson Reed and cleaned up by Jonathan Simmons, who gets credit for the sack. That's a nice play by Reed. You can see he had outside contain, doesn't let him get anywhere, and Simmons cleans it up. So Vanderbilt does settle for a field goal. Here is the All-American Xavier Storm, who won the best returner last year. He does get pushed out at about the 46-yard line. So out comes our offense, looking to run the ball and show some balance as here's Julian Gonzalez. He gets the first carry of the game. That is a gain of five yards. 
So we come out here running band Cameron in motion. Third and eight. Throw across the middle. It's going to be Maurice Highlights Jackson. 26 yards. Mr. Steady Eddie for this offense. He gets open in a first down. So now at about the 26, we're going to bring in Bam Cameron for the handoff. He's going to try to hit the hole, but he can't get enough yardage for a first down that one. Only a gain of three. And then brings it to about the 27-yard line. Here for a third and seven. This time, Dierberto scrambles out to the right, throws it that way. And it's going to be incomplete. Two receivers in the same area. A very rare mistake by the seniors that time, Xavier Storm and Francis Smith. And we had to settle for three points. So Vanderbilt comes back out, but a first in a first in 10 penalty brings it back to a first and 15. Followed up by a handoff. This time Phillips does get that yardage back and gets a gain of five yards. So third and seven from the shotgun this time. They come out with three wide receivers. Throw across the middle. It's Johnson. He's got it tackled by Justin Royal, the safety, and he picks up enough for the first down. So after another penalty, they get it to another first and 15. Handoff, Phillips hits the hole hard. We thought he was going to cut outside. Victor Dimitrancos chooses the wrong running lane on that one. And then Phillips makes the rest, and he gets about a gain of 36 yards and a first down. So now in a second and four, here's a throw to the left side. And now they are inside a field goal range. Vanderbilt, like I said, has a good offense every single year. And it looks like they're coming out firing already. Here is Phillips with a carry to the left side, running over the safety. It's a touchdown, and Phillips does give Vanderbilt the seven-point lead here as out comes our offense trying to answer this high-powered running attack of Vanderbilt. So DiRoberto comes out in the shotgun. Four wide receivers out there. Bam, Cameron next to him, and here he is. Snap on a first and ten, rolling out to the right side. He's going to throw that way. He's got Maurice Jackson. That's a gain of 18 yards. He had the linebacker on him that time. He always got to expose that matchup. So second and four, handoff. Julian Gonzalez, nice blocking, and he gets about nine, 10 yards on that carry, and it's a first down for the sophomore running back. So first and 10 this time. Dierberto scrambles out to the right side. He's going to take it himself and dive forward. You got to be careful when you dive because NCAA does make you fumble on a lot of those carries. So we start the second quarter here with a third and eight at about the 31-yard line. DiRoberto drops back. He's going to unload into triple coverage, and it's caught. Romel Williams, that's a touchdown. The freshman tight end goes up and gets it in triple coverage. Take another look. He holds on to it, even with getting hit by number 53, the linebacker. And wow, he goes up and gets it. We have two new dynamic tight ends now with Price Greer, who has always been there, the All-American, and now Ramel Williams. It's going to be fun to watch these guys grow together. So here comes Vanderbilt out with a 10-10 tie. And here running the ball with Jones this time to the right side, and he's going to only pick up a gain of three yards, tackled by Adam Williams. So third and eight this time. Can we come up with our first stop? Screen pass out to the left side, and Victor Dimitrancos almost has a pick six. He drops it, but it is enough for a punt. As out comes our offense trying to take advantage of this possession now and take the lead. DiRoberto throws to the right side. It's going to be caught by Xavier Storm. That's a gain of 15 yards and a first down, his first catch of the game. So first and 10, here's a lob to the left side, and it's almost going to be picked up. That's a nice play by Foqua on that one. And now that brings it to a third and seven. Five minutes left here in the first half. It looks like Vanderbilt sending the blitz. DiRoberto tries to roll out to the right side, gets rid of it to Bam Cameron, but he actually loses two yards on that one. And that brings it to a fourth and 10. We're just out of field goal range and just out of punting range, so we're going to line up to go for it. Storm open on the right side. That's a gain of about 19 and a first down for the All-American. So first and 10 at about the 18 yard line. We're gonna run the play action inverted veer. Here's DiRoberto, throw to the end zone and it's caught one handed Marquise Moore. Touchdown, 19 yards out. DiRoberto looks good out of the gates. Eight for 12, two touchdowns and a nice one handed grab from Marquise Moore, the sophomore. And now here comes Vanderbilt out onto the field. Four minutes left here in the first half. Going to continue to run this ball. Phillips breaks a tackle and does get pushed forward, tackled from behind by the true freshman. That's Adam Williams. 
So they do eventually pick up the first down. Here is Jones from the shotgun this time. They're going to hand off to Phillips again. Another big hole and another big run tackled by Justin Royal from behind. 17 yards and another first down. So if we stop this run, we might be able to neutralize this offense, but another big run. Phillips runs over the safety, breaks a tackle from Justin Royal, and it's a gain of 23 yards and a first down now as now they're inside the 25-yard line. Another handoff to the left side. Ali Myers does get the tackle in one-on-one -on -one, uh, coverage that time. And now we finally get him to a third and seven. Let's make another stop. Screen pass out to the left side. Phillips breaks a tackle from Adam Williams, but does get run down by Victor Dimitrancos. Nice tackle. And we do get them to settle for the field goal as they make it a 17 to 13 game with under a minute and a half left here in the first half. Now here's Price Greer, our starting tight end, getting open on the right side. And you know he's got the athleticism. That's a gain of 17 for the tight end. So first and 10, handoff to the left side. Julian Gonzalez finds a little bit of room. He gets eight yards as we hurry up to the line here as the time winds down inside of a minute left. DiRoberto moves out to the right, throws that way. It's going to be caught by the true freshman. That's Jasper Sweet. I love to play him on the outside. He's got that amazing speed. 94 to be exact. And here comes Xavier Storm. He gets a catch across the middle as now we move the ball inside the 15-yard line for a second and 10. Five seconds left here in the first half. Throw to the end zone. It's going to be caught. That is Marquise Moore, 12 yards, his second of the half, second of the game, and second of the year, I believe. And that does give us the two-score lead as we do go into halftime with a comfortable 24-13 lead. We also do get the ball at halftime. Nice start to this game. Ranked number 17, second half, coming next. So a pretty good first half here as we haven't been able to stop the ground game of Vanderbilt, but our offense is rolling. We start out with the ball, play action fake. DiRoberto scrambles out to the right. He has an open man on the sideline, but he elects to throw it, and it's going to be picked off. Looking for Francis Smith, and that throw was just not on the money. It's an interception, the first of the game and th that might just allow Vanderbilt to get right back in this game. So here is Phillips trying to run the ball. Victor Dimitrancos can't come up with the tackle, but Anderson Reed does barely trip him up. That's a gain of 13 yards. So under center this time, Jones throws. He's got Haynes, and he's going to be open for a gain of nine yards and a first down here for Kyle Jones. He's only thrown the ball nine times up to this point. They've been running the ball really well. Another carry, Phillips finds a hole and does get past the second level and gets a first down, 11 yards. And now they are inside the five-yard line. They're staring at another 200-yard rushing game versus our defense. So here is Phillips throwing a stiff arm. Tackle by Ali Myers at about the two-yard line. And it's only a gain of one as that brings it to a third and goal. Running an option to the left side, and he's not getting away. That is a tackle by Anderson Reed, the sophomore. And he does get the stop there on the goal line stand. And Vanderbilt does just settle for three points. So I'll chalk that up as a win after the turnover. Throw, quick throw. That's highlights Jackson open. He's got 15 yards and a first down off of the spin move. So now this clock winds down inside of three and a half minutes left here in the second half. In the third quarter, actually. That's Julian Gonzalez with a nice 10-yard carry as he moved the ball to about the 35-yard line. Di Roberto. Has a time to roll out to the right side. He's going to take it himself. No, he gets rid of it. It's caught. Xavier Storm, gain of 30 yards. That's a great throw on the run. Those guys have amazing chemistry. As now we're inside the 10-yard line, we're just going to hand it off to Apollo St. Vincent, the red shirt freshman. He's in seven yards out for the touchdown, his second touchdown of the year, and he does make it a 15-point lead here. As now here we go. Back out on defense. Can we come up with a stop? Stopping this running attack. Here is Phillips with a carry to left side. He breaks a tackle and does get stopped by Ali Myers, who's been playing some really good ball at the safety position. This is, remember, not his natural position. He converted from a quarterback to a free safety this year. So on a second and 11, this time, that's going to be Jonathan Simmons in the backfield. He gets a sack. And now that brings it to a third and 23. This time, Jones throws across the middle. They need 23. They only get 13. That's an easy stop. Victor Dimitrakos on the tackle. 
So 31 to 16, our offense is back out onto the field. Di Roberto throws to the right side. He's got Marquise Moore, who's been active in this one. He's got a gain of 15 and another first down. So we line up here for the screen play this time. Apollo St. Vincent checks in. He's got speed a little bit, but he tries to get to the outside, actually backtracks and loses a yard. And that brings it to a third and 11 to start the fourth quarter. Di Roberto throws across the middle. And look who it is, Xavier Storm getting involved. 14 yards for the catch. He's got 87 yards receiving. So first and 10, set, at, set up at about the 32-yard line. Throw deep across the middle. It's going to be picked off the second interception of the game for Vanderbilt. And that was actually just a great play by Maxwell. He had the outside receiver. He decided to go up the seam with Maurice Jackson. And it ends up turning over. And now Vanderbilt comes over with the ball now, trying to run the ball. So here is Phillips with a carry out to the left side. And Victor Dimitrancos, nice one-on-one -on -one tackle. That's only a gain of two. So another counter play this time to the right. And it's going to be great penetration that time by Big Bobby Mathis. And look at him. That's a loss of seven yards. And now it's a third and 15. And they're not going to be helped out this time by a false start by their offensive tackle. And now that brings it to a third and 20. Jones, we send the blitz. He throws deep down the middle of the field and it's picked off by Justin Royal. He's gonna take it back, picking up a couple of blocks and he takes it to about the 22 yard line by the All-American safety. Remember, he did lead our team in picks last year and he is back for his sophomore year and hopefully another All-American one. So now set up inside the red zone, second and 10, throw out to the right side. It's gonna be caught by Francis Smith, the senior. And now that brings it to a third and one. Carry, here is Gonzalez, up the middle. That's a gain of four yards as he brings it inside the 10 yard line here, five minutes left. So Dear Berto, quick throw across the middle. It's gonna be caught by the senior, Francis Smith. Four touchdown passes by Dear Berto, two picks, but he has over 300 yards passing. And now it's 38 to 16. So here comes Jones back out onto the Got field, it. trying to scramble out, and he does go down. That's a tackle and a sack by Big Bobby Mathis, his first of the game. So second and 14, quick throw across the middle. He's got Johnson out of the backfield, and he's got a gain of seven, and that will bring it to a third and seven. Under center this time, Jones has all day to throw. He's going to try to scramble out. He will take off and get the first down. You know he's got that 87 speed. He hasn't used it much in this one, only seven yards rushing. And that brings it to a first and 10 at about the 33 yard line. Deep shot down the left sideline. He's got Haynes who does beat Marquise Dorsey in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Gain of 60 yards, his first big pass of the game. And now they're inside the five yard line and here is Jones from the shotgun. Throw to the right side. He's got Timmons inside the pylon. Touchdown, three yards out and that does make it a 16-point game as they are going to line up for the two-point conversion, but another offensive penalty and another false start. Now that brings it to the seven-yard line as they do line up to go for two once again. Here is Jones, another clean pocket. He's got all day, but has to get rid of it now as he finds Robinson on the right sideline, and it's not going to get there. It's going to be an incomplete or a, a non-conversion there as now they do line up for the onside kick and it's going to be recovered by Maurice Jackson and that one will seal this game up 38 to 22 and we get another victory, our first one in Big Ten play as Di Roberto does get player of the game for touchdown pa passes, two picks, but we'll clean that up a little bit. Our defense actually gave up a lot of yards on the ground, but I was actually proud of our passing uh, defense. We didn't give up too many passing yards. They didn't really have to throw the ball that much, but they were down for most of the game, so I'm pretty proud of this defense. Our defensive line has really started to play well. You can see Anderson Reed making stops in the backfield as always. Bobby Mathis is definitely now coming on. Remember this freshman year, I thought he was going to make a huge impact. Even his second year, he didn't even make a huge impact. But Victor Dimitrancos has 13 solo tackles in this game. That is actually a school record for solo tackles, 13. So congrats to him. Bobby Mathis has two tackles for loss, a sack. Jonathan Simmons actually had a big game as well. He had two sacks. And then Justin Royal gets his first pick of the year. So next episode, I'm not really sure if I'm going to have the recruiting episode ready yet. Uh, 
Otherwise, I will be going up against Michigan next game, and Kirk Herbstreit is going with Michigan, so they are at home. But it could also be the recruiting special next episode. I'm not really sure what we'll get done first, but we'll see. So hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I've been working hard for a minute. The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it. The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition. But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention. It don't matter, though. Yeah. And it don't even matter, though. Nope. Hey, it don't even matter.